Uganda has tested its first all-electric bus, and authorities in the capital, Kampala, could take it up as a means of mass, clean, carbon-free public transport. CGTN's Leon Sanyangi was on board for a shakedown of the 90-seater vehicle. The mega switch, from diesel engines to an electric-powered ride. This is Uganda's Kayola electric bus. It's a, a low-flow entry city bus, low flow meaning somebody can just jump on, hop off without you know, needing stairs. Spacious inside, equipped with security cameras and screens, the bus seems comfortable. It can carry up to 90 people and cover a distance of 300 kilometers with a single charge of electric power. The bus is out on yet another road trip and this could be the longest so far a 130 kilometer journey from the capital to the central part of the country. Several road tests have already been done to guarantee it is road worthy. Officials say this will be a big step in the city's plans to go green. We will actually undertake a 12 month study with the two buses that we will have built to, to best understand in what way can we introduce electric buses to urban centers in Uganda and beyond in the sub-Saharan region. City residents can expect to start riding on the buses by 2021. The allure of riding a bus already has some excited. It has been my dream, you know, I've heard of Kira Motors, but I've not uh, been uh, having, uh, I haven't got an opportunity to uh, walk into it and board it, you understand? So it's something that I cannot wait for it. The Ugandan car company Kira Motors Corporation plans on assembling many more. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.